we're nearly at our journey's end, we're nearly there. The Valley of the Old Farm, at last, I can see it. It's in my sights, you can see it on the right hand side here. So I just need to find the entrance. I'm not very familiar with the map, so I'm just going to do my best with it. So basically, I think it's down here. Let's just turn in here. Now, I'd like you to see what we've brought with us. We've just come from Iowa in America uh, to start a new venture here in, I think this is France. I'm calling it France. It's not determined where it is, but I'm calling it France. So this is our new home, even though we haven't bought it yet. I've signed the papers, but I've come here to pay the money and buy this little farm here. So uh, I think there's a little turning here. Um, you might have played this map on FS19 or FS17. I've never played it before, so uh, this is new to me. I've played FS17 and FS19, but never this map. So anyway, let's just park up and see what we've got here. So this is what we brought with us. Um, everything would fit on this low loader. This truck, this low loader, this JCB and this John Deere 9R, which is good in America, but we might need to swap it in for something in this country. So let's have a look around. I mean, one thing I notice at the moment, I'll just go through this lovely little archway here. One thing I notice, if we just stop for a second and listen, it's too quiet. It's just too quiet. A farm should be bustling with activity and animals and machines and there's nothing here. So the first things I'd like to do on the farm, the first thing I'd like to do is open this gate and welcome everybody in. Everybody's welcome here. Oh, the first thing I'd like to do actually <laughs> is buy the farm. So, yes, definitely. Now, I should say there are various other farms you can buy on this map and there's one just here uh, where there's pigs but um, there's nothing quite so rustic and char and there's a little uh, sort of placeable area down here you could make a farm if you wanted to but there's nothing quite so rustic or charming as this farm here which is an absolutely fantastic little farm quite a big farm actually let's just open this up oh and this one and just welcome everybody in <laughs> so uh, so now we're farmers so we need we need things. I mean, you know, I'd like to get animals straight away, but we can't feed them. Uh, I would like to get chickens and I would like to get cows. So we would need to buy, I think, a grass field and maybe a wheat field. And let's see what's around us at the moment. So we have, what do we have here? Sunflowers here. Um, this, I think, is soybeans. We have canola, so we don't have anything like wheat or anything, or grass. I mean, what's field 62? Let's go and have a look at field 62, because I've no idea what that is. Okay, this is field 62. I'd like to fly for a second, actually, just to see, see things from the air, like the farm and everything from the air. So this is a field 62, which I think might make a good grass field for us, because we need a grass field if we're going to have cows. We, and sheep as well, we need grass. So I think I might buy this as a grass field. So let's go to 62. And how much is land here? 53,000. Okay, I'm going to buy this and put grass in it. And what else have we got here? 91. Let's go and have a look at 91. Yeah, I, I think it'd be just fun to turn off the fence. <laughs> I, I like doing that. So this is a grass. Ah, oh, this is a grass field. Um... It's a big one, isn't it? Let's just go up in the air again. This is quite a big... Well, it's big, but it is a grass field, so... Ah, what to do? I'm just thinking what to do, actually. 91. I wonder how much it is. Right, it's 141,000. We have 450,000, more or less. So we need fields, so... Okay, yeah, let's buy it. And what about field 52, which is just behind me this way? Uh, I think this is it here. Yeah, field 52. What's going on with this field? Canola harvested. Um, okay, so we need a field that we can put sort of wheat or barley in so we can have chickens. So I think this might be the field to do it. Um, let's just have a look and see how much field 52 is. 218,000. Okay. Alright, let's... Yeah, let's buy it. 
So we now have three fields and what what the heck are we going to do with them? But so I think that I would like to get some grass ready to harvest. OK. All right. Let's go back to our truck. Just here. And I would like to get our, our, our equipment off the back now. So let's unfold it and unstrap it. And first of all, the John Deere, which I'm, I'm not too sure about. And we have a handy shed here to put things in. So I'll just put the John Deere in here because this is for heavy things or if there's big hills, this, is, uh, this has got a lot of pulling power in it. So I'll leave this here for the moment. I'm not sure if we're going to keep it, but we do have this wonderful <laughs> and irreplaceable John Deere, uh, JCB Fast Track. Um, so I'm going to use this for um, mowing the grass. I think that's an exciting way to start the episode, isn't it? Mowing the grass, but it's for a reason because once we've mowed, uh, we can get either sheep or um, cows. So I'd love to get either sheep or cows. It will bring the farm to life, you know. So anyway, let's put things in here. And let's see about, do you know what? I keep finding brooms everywhere. And I happen to know there are 12 collectibles on this map, but I don't think they're brooms. I looked, um, if you follow the science, I looked at the XML files to try and find out where the collectibles are. And this is the XML file. I'll just put it up on the screen now. And I can't figure this out. <laughs> oh, let me just turn the, the uh, lorry off, actually. I'll just fold it up a little bit. That'll do. Yeah, I can't quite figure out where these collectibles are. And it seems to suggest in the XML file that they're either cheese slices or pigeons. <laughs> so if we're looking for collectibles, which I haven't found yet for, for love nor money. I mean, I wish there were ladders because there's so many ladders around <laughs> that. Um, let's go up here and see if we can find anything. No, I think I'm looking for cheese slices, but it might be pigeons or something like that. So I wonder if you would find cheese slices hanging around by, you know, just 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 on a on a farm here, like in the in the ground or something. <laughs> but anyway, so this is another way just here uh, to bring this li this farm to life. This little section here uh, where we can have you can see tomatoes, strawberries, lettuce, lettuce, red and melons. So we have in productions here let's go to productions yeah we need to add straw and water so this is why i would like to another reason why i'd like to have like wheat or barley to harvest in that we can get straw because if i add water it won't do anything i need straw as well for this section so uh the first thing i'd like to do i'm getting a bit confused with everything we have to do but let's open things up and let's find ourselves some uh mowers so I'm going to get old faithfuls, which are these, this one here, and just rent them because I don't have much money. I've just bought bought everything we need and I've not got much money now. So let's get in our JCB and make our way to the shop. So I wouldn't normally leave a journey to the shop in the video, but um, I think it's good, you know, for the first episode to do things like this because you see more of the map, don't you? So I'm sure you've seen this map on, you know, um, like map reviews and things like this. And I'm just going to have a look in here to see if I can see. I thought earlier that this was a bit of cheese hanging up here, <laughs> but it's a... Uh, buttons for something I'm not sure but uh, because I'm looking for cheese slices for collectibles but I'm blown if I can find one I just don't know where they are so can I go up this ladder and go on the top here no well if you see a cheese slice <laughs> or a pigeon <laughs> just let me know please now I'm just thinking to myself oh do you know what there's so many things you can pick up oh I see oh, I've thrown it away now oh Yes, well, anyway, <laughs> I was just thinking to myself that rather than these mowers, I would like the Agco, I think I'll get my money back for these mowers, and go to go, go and get the Agco Swathers, which is this here. 
Yeah, I'll have this. And I will have... This. Because I would like to make hay for cows. So I'm going to send back uh, these things and get my money back. And I will see you back at the farm when I've managed to get this thing <laughs> all the way there. I believe that when you reset things on this map, they land up back at this farm here. They don't go to the shop. So I'm saying this because I should have done this with this piece of equipment here because it's ever so slow and uh, I should have got it here much more quickly by simply resetting it so um, I've forgotten actually where we need to go let's go to the map and see where our grass field is I think that it is is it 91 all right let's let's see if I can drive there and remind myself Yeah, we have this very handy little track here that uh, we can use. So um, this might not be the most exciting thing to do to start a series or, or, uh, <laughs> in Farming Simulator, but doing this will mean we can have cows. So I'm going to do just a little bit of a fast forward of this little bit. will do actually I think this will we don't need to do the whole field and the other thing I'm thinking actually is that this field is too big for just a simple grass field I think I'm going to convert this into like uh, wheat or barley or a crop field in other words so we have the other little field that we had over there uh, on the map you can see it's 62 here so this field will be grass and this field I will turn into like a crop field and this field uh, what's this got in it um canola and is that ready to harvest or harvested oh yeah <laughs> how disappointing so uh i think this will do um i'll take this off here and i'm gonna do my experiment now of trying to reset things to this farm okay so if we hire i, t I tell you what, i could see if there's a baler What's this one? Um, I'm not sure I want to spend 49,000 at the moment because we need all the money we've got for land and productions. I would like to start production as soon as possible so we can get some money coming in. But first of all, let's find ourselves a baler. Yeah, let's go for this Gervile one. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so let's do this experiment then. <laughs> of uh, The shop is up here. And our equipment is here. So this is our fast track. If I reset this, where's it gone? It's gone down here. Okay, so I'm gonna be extremely lazy and get this reset as well, <laughs> back to the farm. So where's the fast track? Just here. Brilliant, so it all comes back to the farm. So that's a really good way of having things delivered for free. <laughs> so. Anyway, let's get the Gervile um, attached. I might have to do another fast forward here or, or whatever it's called, a time lapse. Um, now, where's our grass field? We have to go all around the houses to get to it, I think. Just down here. But this is, <laughs> apart from the bumpiness, I really like this, you know. A, a nice little uh, farm track around the fields to get to the, the next field. And it's just got you know rustic charms I keep saying I really like this map uh, uh, you know so far I'm planning to do maybe 
I don't know, maybe 20 episodes and see how things go. But um, for the moment... Let's make some hay. nice to get um, something off of one of our three fields. I feel like we bought three fields and nothing has been ready to harvest apart from this grass and I don't think the grass is very very healthy. If I stand on it, no data found. So we have to analyse it. Uh, we have to do all the precision farming stuff. That's what I'm, I'm a big fan of the precision farming stuff actually. I like doing that. So I, I would like to do that and I would like to hire the Azaria Scout. I don't because it will save money. We don't have much money. We have eighty-two thousand. We can we can borrow five hundred thousand. But before we do anything else, I would like to have a look on the map. At there's a section up here somewhere where you can. Um, I'm not sure where it is. Let me just find it. Oh, I'm going. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going mad. Or I just haven't found the right place. So <laughs> anyway. I think what I'd like to do is go back to the farm and I would like to put down a greenhouse somewhere. I wonder if there's room for it. Let me just have a look round. Yeah, there might be room just next to this shed here for like a fruit greenhouse. Let me just see if I can put one down. Well, I can't put one down over there, but I can put it down here. I'm not entirely sure what this field is for. But if we own it, I'm going to I'm going to use it. So uh, let me just find the best place for it. Just here. OK, now I'm not going to. Where is it? It's just here. So <laughs> I'm not going to use this straight away. I'm going to use it um, to, to make olives and grapes and to have like the grape processing plant and uh, the oil mill and stuff like that to make some money because we need ways of making money and also in March you can get a really good price for grapes and grapes in here produce at a colossal rate so we, we can make some money out of this but not now I just want to get into this for the moment pick up the hay bales and get some cows um, we might need to start borrowing some money quite soon because we're we're kind of slowly running out of it but let's make our way over to the grass field okay 11 bales so um ha where's the sheep where's the cow shed uh, <laughs> i suppose i could just drive if i drive on here i should be able to turn the fence off shouldn't i uh okay let's go the proper way i'll see you at the cow shed Okay, it's kind of like when you go to a different supermarket and you know everything is there, but you're not quite sure where it all is. <laughs> so I'm just finding my way around at the moment. So here is the cow shed and I was right next to it and I went all around the houses to get here. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can buy or open these doors up actually and drive through. Yeah, we can. Okay, so let's go in here and buy some cows. Um, I would like Holsteins. Yeah, these ones here. So these ones and we'll for the moment we'll just get 30. Brilliant. Brilliant. Look at that. And listen. Oh, they're not, they're not doing anything. I wanted some sound. I wanted some life on the farm. This is why I got cows because this farm was asleep and <laughs> and I needed to wake it up by having cows and machines and stuff but anyway 
Let's put this stuff in here. That's better. <laughs> okay. So what I'd like to do is start fixing our fields a little bit, actually, because um, they've all, you know, not been tended to properly and we need to, you know, raise the levels and all that kind of thing. So what I think I'll do is park this up somewhere and I would really like to get that, that little garden sorted out, but I can't do it until we've got straw. So we need to start fixing things up. So let's borrow, let's rent ourselves an Isaria Scout. This one. And I'm going to cheat again by um, resetting it. All right, let's go and get it. Brilliant. So I might as well do all three fields, but I don't think I'll do them all in this episode. But uh, let's get started with the big old field, the grass field that we had just over the way there. So I kind of got carried away and I actually have done the three fields, which is quite good but also a bit worrying because now I'm thinking the fields aren't very big because <laughs> I've done them in like no time. Um, in in uh, On the Iowa Plains map the fields were huge but that's America you know where things are much bigger. This is France, I think it's France anyway. So let's fold it all up and actually before we fold it all up we need to yeah analyze the field. Okay, let's have a look at the map actually. Uh, just down here. Oh my goodness me, silty clay. Look at all the silty clay. Oh, good grief. Well, this is what we've got to contend with. I mean, I should have seen that before I bought it, but we're stuck with it now. So uh, yeah, silty clay 100%. Silty clay a lot. And this field is much more healthy with just a tiny bit here. And the thing we're looking for is loam. So this field is quite healthy. But these two, not so much. <laughs> so, um, Right then, before I end the episode, I would like to just put a bit of slurry on at least one of these fields. So let's take, get this off here and send back actually everything we don't need anymore. Which is, uh, yeah, this, this, this. Um, I think the baler and this as well and I would like to borrow or lease uh, a slurry spreader which is going to be this one with the John Deere manure sensing system so I will lease that okay all right let's get it all organized so this is our big field finish for phase one of precision farming and I'm glad to get this this field finish first because uh, I don't know it's a bit lumpy and bumpy it's quite hard to uh, fertilize but anyway I, I I'll quit moaning and I will just fold things up and get out and say thank you for watching and um, I feel like we've got quite a lot done today I would like to get some money coming in hence why I've bought uh, where is it now oh this thing here so next time I'm gonna fill this up and make some either grapes or olives and and buy a production because we need some money coming in so Anyway, thanks for now and thanks for watching and bye for now.